Hello everyone, welcome to this YouTube channel, a channel for amazing facts and information. In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 ways to deal with depression. Watch this video till the end so you don't miss any part of the video worth seeing, and make sure to subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our future uploads. When you have depression, you can find ways to take control of your life and manage your treatment even beyond medications. Being depressed can make you feel helpless. Along with therapy and sometimes medication, there's a lot you can do on your own to fight back. Changing your behavior, your physical activity, lifestyle, and even your way of thinking are all natural depression treatments. When you have depression, you can find ways to take control of your life and manage your treatment even beyond medications. Making some lifestyle changes can boost your mood and help alleviate many of your symptoms, including low self-esteem. Minimizing stress as much as possible is a good idea when you're depressed, especially unnecessary or avoidable stressors that people can be pulled into when they're depressed. Here are the top 10 ways to deal with depression. Number 10. Express yourself in writing. Writing in a journal is great therapy and can help you manage depression. You can relieve stress by being open about your thoughts, feelings, and concerns in your writing, and stress management is an important part of living well with depression. Be totally honest in your private journal. Writing down your feelings and challenges with depression can release pent-up emotions. You'll be amazed at how much better you feel after putting pen to paper for just a few minutes each day. Number 9. Take on responsibilities. When you're depressed, you may want to pull back from life and give up your responsibilities at home and at work. Staying involved and having daily responsibilities can help you maintain a lifestyle that can help counter depression. They ground you and give you a sense of accomplishment. If you're not up to full-time school or work, that's fine, think about part-time. If that seems like too much, consider volunteer work. Number 8. Challenge negative thoughts. In your fight against depression, a lot of the work is mentally changing how you think. Depression doesn't just make you feel bad, it can also cause you to think more negatively. Changing those negative thoughts, however, can improve your mood. When you're depressed, you leap to the worst possible conclusions. The next time you're feeling terrible about yourself, use logic as a natural depression treatment. You might feel like no one likes you, but is there real evidence for that? You might feel like the most worthless person on the planet, but is that really likely? It takes practice, but in time you can beat back those negative thoughts before they get out of control. Number 7. Stay involved. If you're experiencing depression, you may feel like you want to withdraw socially and keep to yourself, either because of low self-esteem or a lack of interest. Social life is important, push yourself to stay involved with your friends. Social connections can help keep you from spiraling downward into deeper depression and from becoming isolated and alone with your thoughts. Go to the movies, share a brisk walk, or just catch up with a close friend, it might lift your spirits. Take control of your daily chores, start small and work on one project at a time. Getting up and moving can help you start to feel better in itself. But, seeing your progress in the home can be key to helping you feel better. Number 6. Depend on others. A lot of guys hide feeling depressed from the very people that could help the most. Talking about what's causing you stress or bringing you down can help lessen the intensity of these thoughts. Give those closest to you a chance to help out friends and family can help you feel better about yourself when depression brings you down. Allow yourself to lean on loved ones when you need them. They can encourage you to follow your treatment plan, exercise, eat a healthy diet, and generally take care of yourself all steps necessary to get better. You can also join a support group for people with depression for the chance to talk to others who understand what you're going through. Number 5. Enjoy the emotional benefits of exercise. Exercise offers physiological benefits that can help people going through depression. It temporarily boosts feel-good chemicals called endorphins. It may also have long-term benefits for people with depression. Regular exercise seems to encourage the brain to rewire itself in positive ways. Physical activity relieves stress and can make you feel great. Plus, the satisfaction you get from finishing an engaging, and challenging workout can boost your self-esteem as you get stronger and more physically fit. When you fight depression with a regular exercise routine, you'll feel better emotionally and physically. 
In addition to getting aerobic exercise, some yoga poses can help relieve feelings of depression. How much exercise do you need? You don't need to run marathons to get a benefit. Just walking a few times a week can help. Number 4. Boost your self-image. People with depression often experience low self-esteem, so finding ways to feel better about themselves is an important aspect of treatment. We know how hard it is to fight depression, so we cannot stress this enough to be proud of any steps and progress you make, even if it takes longer than you hoped. Practice positive thinking by focusing your thoughts on your best qualities. You can also make lifestyle changes that can improve your self-esteem, such as eating a healthy diet, getting regular exercise, and spending time with friends who make you feel good about who you are. Number 3. Say no to liquor. Some of the tips we discussed are about coping with depression by distracting ourselves. Drinking and other substance use may feel like a way to distract, distance, or numb yourself from the pains of depression, but it isn't a healthy way to do it and will always turn into a bigger problem. The excessive use of alcohol, and any drug use not only is associated with higher risks of depression but also high risks of depression relapse. Limit alcohol intake, and eliminate any drug use as safely as possible. Alcohol isn't the answer when you're struggling with depression, but many people turn to liquor to attempt to escape their illness. However, drinking can make the symptoms of depression even worse, and alcohol may also have a negative interaction with medications you're taking to control depression. A healthy lifestyle is needed to manage depression, and avoiding drugs and alcohol is one key to a healthy lifestyle. Number 2. Sleep well. Getting plenty of high-quality sleep is necessary for both mental and physical health. Sleep and mood are intimately related. 80% of people with major depressive disorder experience sleep disturbances. Depression can make it hard to get enough shut-eye, and too little sleep can make depression worse. Getting plenty of rest every night is a must for your mood. People with depression often have noticeable sleep disturbances, they either sleep too much or not enough. Go to bed and wake up on a regular schedule. Feeling run down will exacerbate your symptoms of depression and make it more difficult to be social, get exercise, and manage stress. What can you do? Start by making some changes to your lifestyle. Go to bed and get up at the same time every day, try not to nap. Take all the distractions out of your bedroom, no computer and no TV. In time, you may find your sleep improves. Number 1. Make the food and mood connection. Research continues to find clear links between diet and mental health. Depression can affect appetite. One person may not feel like eating at all, but another might overeat. If depression has affected your eating, you'll need to be extra mindful of getting the right nourishment. Diet and nutrition are very important, and omega-3 fatty acids as an example. Some studies have shown that a higher daily intake of omega-3, which you can get in fish like salmon or through fish oil supplements, can improve mood. There's evidence that foods with omega-3 fatty acids such as salmon and tuna, and folic acids, such as spinach and avocado could help ease depression. There are many connections between elements of diet and good nutrition and depression. If depression tends to make you overeat, getting in control of your eating will help you feel better. Eating a healthy diet can make you feel healthy, fit, and attractive, which improves self-esteem while feeling unhealthy can worsen depression and play into negative self-perception. That was it for this video. We've now covered the top 10 ways to deal with depression. What do you think about the video? Tell us in the comments section below. As always, please don't forget to subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.